Now and in the future, crews on board ships will become smaller, systems more capable, and threats more diverse. As a result, tasks are shifting from the crew to onboard systems. At the same time, the crew on board and on shore will be more supported in their tasks by automation, mechanization, and robotization. Manning and Automation M &A, seeks an optimal balance between automation of ship systems and ship manning levels working towards a functional task allocation optimizing overall ship effectiveness. The M&A strategic cooperation between DMO, TNO, Thales Netherlands, RH Marine and Darman achieves this by designing the required functionalities. These are built on combining data from traditional combat, platform and bridge management systems but presented in a more modern, mobile and service-oriented way. So, what can Manning and Automation technically do? Until now, the Manning and Automation program has demonstrated how insertion of new combat technologies, platform and integrated bridge management can be combined with changes in working practices and procedures to increase automation and reduce manning levels. Looking further into the future, already automated ship systems will be further developed into smart systems requiring much less control. The man in the loop becomes a man on the loop, so more a supervisor than an operator, presented with the actual and predicted future of the internal and external status of the ship. This requires different disciplines of crew members to be combined. Another important motivation for developing smart systems is the fact that it's becoming increasingly difficult and expensive for the Navy to find well-trained people who can operate and maintain the often complex systems. Developments in adaptive systems, computing power, industrial Internet of Things IIoT, and AI makes direct, secured access from local or remote operators and maintainers into ship systems possible. Due to ever-increasing automation, cloud-based smart systems are created and ships can be deployed operationally with a smaller crew. The ship's cloud environment also hosts data logging services to collect, store and structure all data on board independent of shore facilities. This enables asset manufacturers to provide support continually over a ship's lifecycle. Consequently, ship design must be properly geared to this modern approach. For example, room layout, design of systems, and the way in which information is presented. An example of a manning and automation study is smart rooms, in which techniques are investigated that automatically map the state of ship spaces for calamities, like leakage, fire or malfunctions, and then estimate possible consequences for the safety and deployability of the ship. Another example is the Battle Damage Repair Tool, which facilitates the communication and coordination of the internal battle of the ship. Automated support functions for the command team help to analyze data faster and understand opponents' behavior and intentions and then decide on appropriate actions. Because both pace of technology development and changes in threat environment are accelerating, strategic cooperation in the field of M&A is essential. In a symbiosis, the Netherlands Navy, research institutes and shipbuilding industry are teaming up in the Manning and Automation Consortium and in many of the new build and upgrade projects. In the end, MA Cooperation supports the Netherlands Navy in its mission to be a technologically advanced Navy, and it helps Dutch industry partners to remain key international players.